Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you in the Open Ultra League today from 2HTA2 and they are currently running in the Lowland Executor. So a Lowland Executor might actually have some play because it has Dragon Tail, which was recently buffed in Season 8 and it also has Dragon Pulse and Seed Bomb, so it has a really good moveset. So I am excited to see how this plays out. And let's just go ahead and dive right into the commentary. It looks like Swampert is going to be on the lead going for Earthquake. Uh, Swampert actually does have play against Giratina because the Earthquakes do about 50%. So two Earthquakes going to be enough to KO this Giratina. Uh, we might see a Shield Bait next or we might see a Shield from Giratina. We'll see exactly what happens. Giratina going for a Dragon Claw right now. And they do see it switch into Blastoise, actually. Swamp it, charging up energy, switch it into a Lowland Executor. Now, a Lowland Executor has to watch out for the Ice Beam because it would KO it. It's double weak to it, Grass and Dragon. So that is Ice Beam. So nice shield. Uh, so probably just farm up extra energy and go for the Seed Bomb. I like that. So Seed Bomb will be enough to KO the Blastoise. Blastoise might decide to shield this one, though. They do shield it. Okay, so Blastoise is going to go ahead and get to another... Oh, no. A Lowland Executor going to go ahead and get to another one. And are we going to see the double shield? No double shield. Blastoise is going down. In comes Giratina. Giratina, again, being weak to Dragon Tail. Being weak to Dragon Tail. We're going to see a shield and a fawn down. That's exactly what's going to happen. So, okay, out comes Kanto Muck and Dragon Pulse is coming out. They might think it's a Seed Bomb. This is going to do a lot of damage. Honestly, I might want to try this Pokemon out myself, to be honest. This is incredible. Out comes Swamp It. Going for the Earthquake. This is going to one-shot. Charizard didn't even see any action yet, so this game is over. And uh, in comes Giratina. Charizard at anything at that, you know, Charizard at that health is going to be able to KO it. But you don't even need Charizard. Just bring in the Alolan Executor. Going up against one of the... Legendary Pokemon, Giratina, one of the most powerful Pokemon able to beat it, so that is incredible. That is incredible. So <laughs> let's go ahead and move into the next game. Yeah, Lolan Executor, it's one that I didn't even, it wasn't even on my radar when they announced the buff to Dragon Tail. I wasn't even thinking about it, but um, let's see how this plays out. Okay, so Swamp It into Scizor. Scizor, another pretty common Pokemon. It's going to go ahead and go for an attack. This is going to be Night Slash. They're probably going for the boost. Uh, doesn't do too much, so Swamp It is going to go ahead and charge up a lot of energy. Going for the Hydro Cannon. Uh, Hydro Cannon will do a lot of damage. Uh, there we go, doing a lot. Another Hydro Cannon will be enough to KO. So, uh, the Scizor might decide to shield this. They do decide to shield it. And Scizor is going to be able to get to another attack. But the thing is, like, Swamp It still wins this. It could get to another Hydro Cannon. You take that Night Slash. Oh, the boost. We do see the Hydro Cannon. Now, will the Scizor shield? If they do, they are going down two shields. And Scizor really doesn't have any play against Charizard. Are they go oh, they're not farming down. Probably they just let this go and bring in Charizard. One Fire Spin KOs it. That's probably the game plan, right? So yeah, Charizard able to get rid of that Scizor. It does have a two shield advantage. Out comes Obstagoon. Obstagoon going to be hit with this Blast Burn. Not before getting off an attack, though. So we're going to see uh, a Night Slash come in. Not going to do too much. Saving those shields for Executor, maybe. We're going to see an Overfarm going for the Blast Burn. This Blast Burn is going to do a lot. Shouldn't be enough to KO, but it will get it pretty low. Oh, really low, actually. Uh, so we are going to see a shield here, and then likely a Farm Down, unless the opponent decides to switch out. Uh, looks like we're seeing that Farm Down very nice. What is going to come in? Going to be a Grass type. Wow, Executor has not even seen any play, so this Sceptile is going to be obliterated uh, by Blast Burn. So, Alolan Executor had not even seen any play that battle, but that is okay. Not necessary, so uh, I'm trying to think, what team would I build around Alolan Executor? That's really cool, that Dragon Tail. Uh, so, let's go ahead and move into the next game. Uh, and see how the next game plays out. I might try Alolan Executor maybe in... Um, uh, the Premier Cup, we'll see. But going up against Clefable, okay, Executor definitely doesn't want to see that. So you got to stay in, of course. I mean, Charizard wants to see Clefable, I guess. But we do see a switch into Giratina. Going for the Earthquake and then switching into Executor, probably. Because you can get a decent amount of farm. Uh, yeah, so it looks like Executor is coming in. Just going to farm this thing down. Alolan Executor can take Dragon Claws because it's not the strongest move in the game. So, we're going to be able to take this attack. Oh, that still does a lot. Never mind. <laughs> it could take it, but it still does a lot. It can't take the next one. Um, going to go ahead and just let it go down. Okay, never mind. I thought they could take a couple of them, but I guess not. So, Swampit is going to go ahead and go for the fun down. And what is going to come in? Uh, it's going to be uh, the Clefable is coming back. So, we're going to see... The Hydro Cannon. 
Uh, two Hydro Cannons should be enough to KO. Uh, there we go. One. Another one will be enough. And they might shield, but if they do, you could switch into Charizard and maybe go for the farm down. We'll see. Uh, maybe not go for the full farm down, but they do switch into Swamp It. Definitely not good for the Charizard. Charizard's going to have to shield both of these attacks. This is definitely not good. This is probably a loss because Charizard really can't compete against Swamp It, unfortunately. It's certainly not at full health. So we're going to see the Dragon Club bait, and it's not going to be able to pick up a shield. Blast Burn would have done more, but it wouldn't have KO'd. Uh, so we're going to see a Hydro Cannon, so Charizard is going to go ahead and opt to shield this one. And we're going to see uh, Dragon Claw come in. So Swamp It is going to shield one of these attacks. It might shield this one. It's not going to shield that one. It'll have to shield the next one because they, at the end of the day, they want to get off the Hydro Cannon. So, so they're going to shield this and go for the Hydro Cannon for sure. So there we go. Oh, the switch to catch the Hydro Cannon. Oh, there's no way he turns this around, is there? So, that was a great switch. That was a great switch. So, that's going to KO. And now, I feel like... Yeah, they still get to one, though. So they still get to another one. But that was a great attempt to come back. Because if you got to the Dragon Claw to KO, Charizard probably could have beaten that Clefable. So, that was actually very close. Uh, nice attempt to come back. Unfortunately, was not able to. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and move into the next game. But, uh, yeah, Lolan Executor. Uh, pretty squishy. Uh, I didn't think it was that squishy, but uh, it pretty much is, but that's okay. Swamp it into Toxicroak, okay? Um, okay, let's see how this matchup plays out. They're both doing a lot of damage to each other. We're going to see a Mud Bomb come in. Swamp it is going to go ahead and take it. It's going to be able to take it, but it will get it pretty low. Um, not that low, I guess, but the counters do a lot of damage. So we're going to see a Hydro Cannon come in, and that does a lot of damage as well. Can they get to another Hydro Cannon? <clears throat> they are able to get to another Hydro Cannon. This is going to KO the Toxic Croak, unless if the Toxic Croak decides to shield this. Uh, they do not shield it, so Toxic Croak goes down. In comes Greninja, very spicy. Uh, Greninja might be going for the farm down, so we're going to be able to get to an Earthquake, which is huge. Um, does Greninja have access to Ice Beam? I'm not actually sure if it does. Um, Greninja does farm down. So Greninja, uh, Alolan Executor definitely coming in, but I don't know if it... It has Night Slash and... Um, I don't know what else it has. I don't know why. It does have Night Slash. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it has Ice Beam or not. But anyway, Executor is going to take this attack. It's going to be another Night Slash. does a lot of damage. Uh, in comes Talonflame. Out comes Charizard. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, Talonflame is going to go ahead and go for an attack. This is going to be a Flame Charge. Okay, Charizard is going to be able to take it. And going to charge up a lot of energy. Going for the Dragon Claw right now. And we'll see if the Talonflame decides to invest their final shield. They do. So now trying to go for the Blast Burn. Able to get it off. Very nice. I know it's resisted, but Blast Burn is just so powerful. <laughs> you generally want to go for it for the most part. Unless if it's like double resisted. But uh, we're going to... Or unless if Dragon Claw is super effective. But we're going to see an attack. Flame Charge will be enough to KO. And Executor definitely going to go for the Farm Down. And it does get it. And all you need to do is land a Seed Bomb against the Greninja. And that's going to KO it. Greninja is a Pokemon we don't see too often. But this is going to be enough to KO because it is a Water type. So goodbye Greninja. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. And we are going to go ahead and move into the final battle of the video guys. If you hear some talking in the background. It's my niece downstairs. Uh, I don't know if you could hear or not. But um, I can, so maybe you guys can. I don't know. But either way, it's fine. Uh, so we're going to see that Swamp It into Milotic. Okay. So, hmm. Very interesting. Probably a losing matchup. Um, that Milotic ha actually has Waterfall. It does have access to Dragon Tail as well, ironically. But this one has Waterfall, it looks like. Surf is going to do a lot of damage. We're going to see uh, an Earthquake. Uh, they, they might shield this. They do not shield. It does a lot of damage. And my little take might... Uh, they're not going to be able to get the farm down because this Hydro Cannon is coming out. But is the Hydro Cannon enough to KO the my little take? I actually don't know. It is enough. Very nice. Okay, so Swampit actually able to take that game. In comes Mr. Mime. No, Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme is coming in. Okay, I like it. I would love to showcase the Mr. Rhyme video. Uh, so in comes this Armored Mewtwo. Out comes the Lolan Executor. Um... Okay, Mr. Rhyme, wow. Okay, so we're going to see a shield from the Sololan Executor. going to be that rock slide. And um, we're going to see an over farm. Going for the seed bomb right now. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the thing is, Mr. Rhyme is, like, pretty squishy, right? So, like, you're probably going to want to protect this armored Mewtwo. 
And we're going to see another seed bomb. No, not before an attack comes in from Armored Mutant. Will the Alolan Executor decide to shield this? It, they will not. Going to be Rock Slide. It will KO. No, it will not. Able to get off a seed bomb. Very nice. So this seed bomb might get the shield. It does get the shield. So Alolan Executor goes down, but not before getting the shield. In comes Charizard. Charizard's going for the Blast Burn. This is going to be game over because another Blast Burn will KO the Mr. Rhyme. Uh, Mr. Rhyme is an Ice type. And you could safely shield this. I don't even know what attacks. I have a Mr. Rhyme and an Aglarian Mr. Mime. It has Ice Punch. Okay. I didn't even know the move set on it. We're going to see a Blast Burn, which will be enough to KO. It looks like that was Confusion and Ice Punch. Uh, so this is going to KO uh, Mr. Rhyme, and that is going to be a good game and a good set. Very well played. But yeah, Lolan Executor. Nice feature of a Lolan Executor. I really enjoyed that. And was that a 4-1? I think that was a 4-1. And looks like it was a 4-1. Okay. And picking up a mean foo as well, so very nice. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.